Web 3.0 is exploding and so is Golang. And this is why I get this question a lot. How would we use Golang for Web 3.0? Or if I want to be a Web 3.0 developer, should I be learning Golang? And this is the question that I want to answer in this video. Uh, so I want to take example of two different things. One is the public blockchain and the other is the private blockchain. And let me explain to you where Golang can play a part and how can you learn Golang and use your Golang's learnings in um, with, with blockchain and Web 3.0. So um, if you uh, know about smart contracts, you know that you can create smart contracts in a language called Solidity. And Solidity is the most preferred language to create smart contracts right now. And that's not where Golang um, shines at the moment, right? Because people will keep using Solidity as the language to cre keep creating smart contracts. So um, now the smart contracts can be deployed on test nets or on the main blockchain. Like for example, uh, Ethereum could be the main blockchain on which you are um, deploying your test, uh, your uh, smart contract right so uh, but to interface with this smart contract to interface with this entire blockchain application that you're creating uh, on the public blockchain you would want to have a front end like uh, you'll be using like rest uh, sorry um, next.js and uh, react.js or something like that and the web server is where you can create uh, where you can use golang here so your web server will be basically interacting with the smart contract uh, program that you have deployed and also the web server will also be, uh, you know, um, having all those REST APIs basically for ReactJS to call and to be able to show information to the user. So user is in fact interacting uh, with the front end of your application that you create. The user is interacting with the front end of the application that you create, which in turn is interacting with the web server, which could be Golang and database uh, where you're storing the user's information. Uh, but mostly, the web server is interacting with the smart contract application that you've deployed on the test net uh, or on the main net or main, main chain, right? So this is where you can basically learn Golang. But uh, like I said, you know, this is the web server. So you could have used Node.js here, Golang here, Rust here. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is not where, uh, so, so Golang will help here because Golang is quite fast. And as a web server, it's a very fast language and has very fast frameworks like Fiverr and HTTP. But, um, but this is not where Golang's monopoly lies. Golang's monopoly is in the private blockchains, right? So uh, many enterprise companies or many companies, uh, they don't want to use the public blockchains like Ethereum or Solana. They want to build their own blockchains and deploy them privately so that they can set the rules of the blockchain, how the blockchains interact. So for example, if Nvidia is building the Omniverse and if uh, Facebook is building the Metaverse, uh, they are not going to be using Ethereum. They're going to be deploying their own private blockchains inside the companies or uh, you know even if people can interact with it they basically but uh, facebook is going to going to basically uh, is going to write the rules of how that blockchain um, is is formed right or is going to operate and this is where you deploy private blockchains and the number one framework or the number one method to do it is called hyperledger fabric so if i have opened the git uh, repository for the same you can go and check it out it's completely built with golang and you can get check it out as in what it does and what it is exactly uh, and a lot of companies a lot of enterprise companies like ibm for example they use hyperledger fabric uh, heavily in their companies to build uh, internal programs or uh, different softwares with the help of uh, like blockchain related uh, software with the help of Hyperledger Fabric. And this is where Golang shines because Fa Hyperledger Fabric is built with Golang and also Golang has really tightly coupled integrations and uh, SDKs available for Hyperledger Fabric. So if you deploy your own Hyperledger Fabric, your own private blockchain, you'll be able to interact much better with Golang than any other language because um, Hyperledger Ledger is natively a Golang framework or a Golang technology. So what you'll be doing uh, uh, essentially is you'll have a front end, let's say in React or next year, something like that. You have a web server, your node, uh, your Golang server, and the private blockchain, which is uh, basically your Hyperledger fabric, is the database itself, is, is where you're storing all of the information. So the so blockchain is basically a distributed database, right? And that's the power that you get with Hyperledger Fabric because you're storing all the information of all the users here. And the web server, which is basically Golang, again, like I said, has a deep SDK and a deep integration already with um, Hyperledger Fabric because this is completely also in blockchain in Golang. So it's interacting with that and front end is interacting with the web server. So your user here basically is going to interact with the front end, which is going to interact with the web server, which is basically taking out data or interacting with the private blockchain, which is uh, on Hyperledger Fabric. And this is where Golang shines, and this is where you can really make a difference of a dent in the universe. If you know Golang, you'll be uh, a preferred developer to be building 
products or applications which are going to be using private blockchains, for example, banking's banking systems, financial systems, governments, uh, and all the real places where uh, blockchain is going to make a big difference are going to use Golang, right? Because they probably might not want to work a lot with public blockchains. So, and and the reason, obviously, you know, for public blockchains is that the complete data is copied in every single node. So, uh, governments might not want to. Uh, get into that and also for maybe medical data and real estate data they might want to have private blockchains uh, <clears throat> so this is basically what i wanted to show you that yes um, golang is going to explode a lot along with web 3.0 if you want to do well, uh, well with web 3.0 then golang is uh, the language that you should be learning along with obviously solidity solidity uh, you know by default you have to learn it and i'll be teaching that also on my channel uh, but golang is also something that you should know now if you're new to this channel then you should you have to know that there are more than 100 Golang videos on this channel, 100 Golang tutorials, and there are also 40 real world projects that I have built with Golang and different playlists. Go check them out if you haven't checked them out already. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. Do subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already because I come up with awesome content, which is basically uh, you know going to help you a lot in the future because I'm going to be creating futuristic content like this, uh, mostly around Web 3.0, AI, data science, uh, big data, data engineering, and just general programming as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.